Hammond hits a six. And the last stroke has been played in the 1932-33 test matches. There is a sparse attendance of spectators for the finish of the fifth test and no big scenes when Hammond and Wyatt make their way back to the pavilion. When the MCC sailed for Australia, who would have predicted that England would win four out of the five tests, making the total victories 51 each? Who would have given Bradman an average of only 56 runs and innings? This series of tests will be remembered as Larwood's. His leg theory bowling has been the subject of bitter controversy, but if his success with express deliveries, apart altogether from any question of leg theory, has the effect of encouraging strong young bowlers to put their faith in speed, cricket generally should benefit. The biggest factor in England's triumph has been Larwood's mastery of Bradman, and he got him again in the final test when the young wizard had scored 48 out of 64. The Australian crowds have been outspoken in their criticism of the leg theory, but let us hope that Larwood will not persist in his intention never to play in Australia again.